Organisers are making sure that no detail is left unattended to. Like this show, reality television has been an instant hit with viewers and with the broadcasting companies. There haven't been crowds like this in Sydney since the 2000 Olympics. More than 125,000 people from all over the world have shown up here for World Youth Day. But just take a look at the number of boats out here. It's clear that there is an interest and possibly even a potential for growth. But the industry has its problems, like the fact that there's no marina where all of these boats can be docked. This year there are big bucks in it, with a $100,000 cash prize for the winner. In the fight for sponsorship money, there's only one heavyweight champion, and that's India's most popular sport, cricket. It dominates the airwaves and gets over 90% of all sponsorship money, which means for small sports like boxing, it's a knockout blow. Now these might look like an ordinary pair of shoes, but they're not, they're shoes. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, well pay close attention, because we're going shopping. Every item in the store has a name. This bag, for example, is called Ramona. She is the highest price item in this store, coming in just under a cool two lakhs. But if that's slightly above your budget, well, check out the Watsons. Madonna owns a pair, and they're just valued at 19,200 rupees, the entry price point for a Jimmy Choo. Three, two, one, music. Reality television, Indian style. It's got audiences riled up, television broadcasters cashing in, even starry-eyed contestants have come from far and wide wanting a piece of the reality television action. I want to be very, 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 very famous. <laughs> The sudden spotlight on reality shows is also generating higher advertising revenues for broadcasters. Media analysts say because reality shows are such a hit with audiences, television companies can charge anywhere between 25 to 100 percent more for an advert in a reality show as compared to a soap. Roaring in with the ratings, MTV India is one of the channels that is maximizing the reality format. Their latest reality show tie-up is with Indian motorbike company Bajaj Auto. Meanwhile, the wow factor of reality television is showing no signs of dying down. Indian audiences can't seem to get enough and companies are cashing in on their euphoria. While profits are to be made and fame to be sought, at least for now it seems, reality television is an all-round crowd pleaser. Sari sizzled on the catwalk as Mumbai's premier fashion week kicked off. Tradition was in this year. India's top designers took inspiration from their roots to put together a truly homegrown collection. There are some preconceived notions of India and hopefully after seeing this collection I've broken the myth because this is what Indian, the Indian woman is all about. There's a strong global side to her but she's still very grounded and rooted to her tradition. Getting people talking about Indian fashion is exactly what the organisers of Mumbai's Fashion Week were hoping to achieve. Behind all the glamour at this year's Fashion Week, there's almost an excitable frenzy in the air. Even at the rehearsals behind me, organisers are making sure that no detail is left unattended to, as this year's Fashion Week is special. It's a celebration of 10 years of Indian fashion and just how far the industry has come. Even so, experts agree, India's fashion industry still has a way to go if it is to rival international markets like the US or Europe. But at least for one spectacular week, a celebration of 10 years, over 50 designers, and everything from the traditional to the provocative was on display. As Mumbai's premier fashion week went off without missing a step. Well, almost. The big, fat, Indian wedding. That's what December in India is all about. Millions of dollars are spent every year on lavish, week-long celebrations. While weddings like these are big cash cows for business at this time of the year and clearly steal all the limelight, in another part of town, things are very different. Far away from the noise and celebrations of weddings, here 
Dutch businesses are celebrating another special occasion. Christmas may not be the biggest festival in the Indian calendar, but it's still celebrated in its own small way. And many Indian businesses use the festivities to make a pretty profit. This is an Indian version of Jingle Bells, created by Children's Network Nickelodeon. Christmas promotions like this are part of a larger initiative to position the channel as Santa. The network says it helps boost viewership during what is a crucial sales period. Festive season uh, normally shows anything from a 20 to a 25 percent growth in revenues as well. We have a whole lot of advertisers and brands on the channel at this particular point of time because they want to engage and interact with the child as well. Because one, they know that they're spending a whole lot of more time on television, and the fact that there is a whole lot of purchase possibilities during Christmas itself. Baking up a storm, Mrs. Nirmala Lewis also finds herself very busy at this time of the year. She bakes cakes to order from her home all year round, but Christmas time is her peak sales period, with the majority of her orders coming now. During Christmas time it is more, it's almost 80 percent. Like you know, I bake at least about more than 80 to 100 cakes during the uh, Christmas season, that is right up till uh, New Year. Heralding in the season, the church choirs have broken into full chorus. For India's Christian community, this may be an especially important time of the year. But even outside of these church walls, the spirit of Christmas is spreading, and that's sweet music to the ears of many businesses.